What's up you donkeys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's just get the pleasantries out of the way. Hit that like button. Now, do it. Thank you. Did you do it? That was a test. You did it? Very good. Helps the channel a lot. Helps Courtney a lot too. If not for me, do it for Courtney. Last week, I was invited to Vegas to join Matt Berkey's Poker Out Loud. If you don't know who or what that is because you're a donkey that doesn't study, not only is Matt Berkey a high stakes crusher, he's also the founder and creator of the Solve for Why Poker Academy. And one of the many resources on Solve for Why is Poker Out Loud, in which poker players play together with noise canceling headphones and are able to commentate their thought process while playing. All of this is captured with high quality professional equipment resulting in some amazing educational content. And for some reason, he invited me. It was a vlogger's edition and I played with the likes of crushers like Ryan DePaulo, Poker Beast, Bet on Drew, Matt Vaughn, uh, some musician I don't know. This is what my experience was like in a nutshell. Hello and welcome back to the inner thoughts of Rampage Poker's comedy channel. I really thought we were going to be playing 1-3 today, but everyone else wanted to play 5-5, five five, so I guess we're playing 5-5, five five, my thought process right now. Um, I'm scared and I want to go back to Canada. Okay, we pick up 9-8 offsuit under the gun. We're only getting dealt like one hand every 15 minutes because Matt Vaughn has a lot to say every goddamn hand. So I'm really tempted to play this, but I'm just out here trying to make Courtney proud. And you know what? I'm just happy to be here. I know it seems like I'm thinking about some really deep shit right now, but I just forgot how much is in the pot and I'm trying to figure out how much is in it. And... I guess I'm supposed to talk out my thought process out loud. So here I go. Um, under the gun open to 15. There are three callers. So that's 15 times four, which is 50. Okay, heads up out of position against Ryan DePaulo on this dry flop. So we're just going to make a standard C bet of one third pot. Parkour! We just flopped the Ryan, you're the screaming. Dog. What a mush. I can still hear. Just give me a chance to unpause my music, okay? Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, bro. Sorry. I fold. Okay, Queen 9 offsuit on the button. So Ham can definitely open from this position, but should fold to Poker B's hijack open. But when Matt Vaughn calls in the cutoff, something something pot odds. I guess. Okay, I want to re-raise 50% of the pot. So what's the formula? It's 3x the last action plus all the dead money. 50% of that is 120. So we're going to bet 120. And I just min-raised. I think my formula is wrong. Why am I here? Conrad, I love you. You just dealt the perfect card. I love you so hard right now. It's difficult to express how much I love you while keeping my poker face on. I was thinking before you dealt that turn, you know what would be the perfect turn card? The three of diamonds. And what'd you give me? The three of diamonds. If I could, I'd reach over the table and kiss you. All that footsie action you've been giving me all day, I forgive you and I want more. I'm pretty sure ace high is good here. I am because I have a good feeling about it. Call. The nuts? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. What is this kid doing? That's such an obvious punt. We covered this this morning. Thank you so much for watching, you donkeys. My appearance on Poker Out Loud will be live on Salt for Wise training site in the coming weeks. So make sure you don't miss that by subscribing to it. And if you want to support me at the same time, please use my affiliate link in the description below. Thanks again to Salt for Wise and to Matt Bird for the experience. 10 out of 10 would embarrass myself again. And as always, stay loose, play seven deuce, you donkey. I'll give you a few different uh, versions. Feel free to use whatever you like. I'll try not to be too mean. What's this kid doing? That's an obvious fold. I'm not so sure that Poker Out Loud is the best format for somebody whose hamster is clearly dead in the wheel. I spoke with Greg on break. He tried to tell me that he's not beating 1-3. Judging by the line that he just took there, I'm going to have to say I agree. That seems so mean. What else do I got for you? Greg goes all in. More like Greg goes brain dead, am I right? Don't use that. This is supposed to be poker out loud, not punting out loud. Well, the good news is for Greg, if poker doesn't work out, no, I got nothing.